Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and from uh, the background of the video you might already be guessing that this is a like kind of toy restoration <laughs> video. Yes, I'm in my bathroom and we will also, yeah, I will also uh, do something in my kitchen because you know there's here's where the water is etc. That's why I cannot uh, film in front of my usual background and yeah, I wanna like restore doll hair in this video. Uh, I have a couple of dolls and um, that, that, that need some, some nice, uh, you know, restoration. And I know that you often ask, oh, can you, show, can you show us how you do it? Well, this is not going to be a tutorial or something, but um, I have this peppermint rose doll here. Um, that I got, uh, like I bought myself. <laughs> um, she is an early 90s doll and I I think in the last uh, unboxing video that, that I did, yeah, she she was in there. I mean the last like general toy unboxing, not in the public unboxing obviously. And uh, her hair, like, yeah, you know, it's just... I need to do something about it and I can also film it, so why not? Um, then I have this. What's that? That's actually my old Barbie case. Yeah. Um, I'm not really a Barbie collector, but when I was young, when I was a child, I was playing a lot with Barbies. Okay, let's put it here. And uh, there's not much left of my original Barbies. I had like a huge box, I don't know, full of Barbies, so at least now 15 to 20 Barbies I had and horses even more. <laughs> um, and this is like every all, all of my toys went to my nieces and uh, now my yeah like the niece that uh, this still was at she is not playing with it anymore. Uh, she's 14 so she's more into Marvel and Harry Potter <laughs> which is good. Um, but that means I can get back my old Barbie suitcase and there's three of my original Barbie dolls left from my childhood um, and I need to do something about this. Uh, well, this is Ken. <laughs> I cannot do anything with his hair. Uh, this is the, um, I mean, almost none of the original outfits are there, etc. But this used to be the um, Witter Sport Ken. And uh, that was the only male doll I had. And then these two. Um, Actually, their heads are wrong, so my niece swapped their heads because this body is actually a uh, Petra, so it's not a Barbie, and this is the Petra head. So I also need to do that, and I want to do something about the hair, you know, and also their faces, etc. So they're pretty, you know, played with <laughs> of different generations now. And um, I also have another doll. It's this one. I got her at the flea market and she is a hula hair Barbie. Um, I think you have already seen the outcome in the, one of the videos before because I want to show her in, um, in, of course, in the hall, in the flea market hall. And, um, but in this video, I want to do her hair. Also, I know that uh, her bangs is like uh, is missing, so uh, might. Um, uh, Rerooted, so I might uh, do like a rehairing on her partial just in the front. Let's see if I can get the head off because I'm not really good with dolls in that case, so I'm better with ponies. But you will see how that turns out. So, and I uh, one other thing I also want to show you how I did the hair of the um, a little missing mermaid, but you will be a little bit disappointed because. I didn't do much about it, but uh, I have also footage of that. So I think um, let's start with this and I don't know how I put the video together. So let's start with Little Miss Singing Mermaid. Uh, here you will see everything very fast in a time lapse. It's not too interesting to be honest. I started off with um, getting her hair wet, then putting lots and lots of a hair conditioner on it and combing it. So combing through it with a yeah, not too fine and not too like thick, sorry, 
normal comb that you might also be using for your own hair so not not just a small doll comb um, yeah it takes some time uh, but you can already see that uh, the factory curl is still there. I won't do anything uh, with uh, boiling hot water here. I won't give her a boil perm because she's still so nice. So it's a little bit disappointing and doesn't make an own video. There you can see the result now with um, comb through hair and of course uh, rinse it out again so not letting the conditioner in of course uh, getting all the product out yeah and that's actually everything that I did to her as I said you will probably be a little bit um, bummed that I didn't do like any special things but her hair like her original like curl is still so nice in such a good condition that I don't want to do a real boy perm to her. Um, this is mine, so this is the one I will give away and this is uh, the one I have. She looks way more original than what I did to her hair, to her hair, her hair. Um, because what I did uh, to her is I put her hair in rollers and then put put it in boiling hot water and that's that's what's what is the boil perm if you just put her hair in boiling water then all the curls will go away so in order to to give her like new curls I would have like it, it would only be the option to destroy the factory curl that she still has and I'm not doing that uh, she looks way more original than her because the hair originally looked a little bit more like this a little bit more poofy in the ends but um, yeah uh, by the way uh, I also put batteries in her and she also works better than mine uh, just <laughs> as, as a, a comparison this is what mine sounds like This is her. So overall, she's in way better condition than her. And also, if you compare, compare her um, tail or her fins, this is uh, like way more bent because she's on display, you know, she's standing on my display. Uh, if you keep her, I don't know, in a doll stand or lying or something, then this won't happen. So, yeah. As I said, I just uh, conditioned it, combed it through, let it air dry. That's everything I did to her. And uh, that's not a very good tutorial or anything, but her hair was still so nice. I did not want to bother with it. Let's keep it going with my Barbies. Uh, so the first thing I want to try is to remove uh, this, I don't know what, what my niece put on, glitter nail polish or something from the face. I'm trying it with, uh, you know, nail polish remover. I try to be really careful because uh, I can also remove, you know, the features, the face paint with this. Let's try to get around this. I think I've already removed a little bit of her blush. Nah. Yeah, I think that's better. <laughs> well, you can see here the split in the back. Ugh. I guess this is the Petra body. Uh, can you read that? Petra. Um, and this is a Barbie head, so obviously that did not really match well. Whoops. Let's quickly. 
quickly. And um, I want to do a boil wash on all of uh, their hair, but at first, before I do that, because I want to do that in my kitchen, um, I just use, as, I, as I'm always doing, you know, with ponies, I just use conditioner and then brush it through. I think her hair is not cut. I think uh, it used to be this short. Um, I remember that this was my old uh, riding Barbie, you know, for riding horses. <laughs> um, I don't think that her hair was really long, but it is a really good quality. This is not the typical, I don't know, strawish, <laughs> straw hair. I don't know, Kanekalon, I don't know. It's probably the other one. This is not the super puffy, this is a different texture. Probably would not even need to do a boil wash, but... Here is the body. <laughs> so this was the riding style. Uh, you know, as, as also the, the gymnast Barbie and the working out Barbie, etc. The first ones that were a little bit more articulated. So, oh, and this is the Petra face. I think I'm gonna keep this up. Ah, this was broken. Now I see why she did it. Or she, she broke it, I don't know, and then she glued it in. It was glued in. Oh no! I hope I can still put this on the other head. But yeah. This looks <laughs> way more like what my childhood doll used to look, right? That's how I know you. I just, I've heard um, that these kind of dolls, you know, with the, um, she, she is not from Barbie, she's Peppermint Rose, but she's on a skipper body, I'm pretty sure, that um, the neck, neck lines break pretty easy, so, and I've heard people do that, so at first I squish her head in pretty low so that there's less chance of breaking the head, uh, the neckline. So I'm actually doing uh, the same with all of the dolls. At first I wash them, you know, with soap and um, a toothbrush and then I'm conditioning the hair, you know, normal conditioner and then I'm combing through it. That uh, takes a while, that's why it's all like, um, you know, in time lapse here, and you're gonna see that for all of the dolls. Of course, I'm also doing the same to hula hair Barbie, washing and then conditioning <laughs> and combing through it.
the hair is actually cut pretty uneven in the ends so um, I definitely will, will take a scissor and cut a little bit off you can see very very uneven some very very thin parts and yeah mm, yikes. but that's normal with um, dolls especially the ones that are a little bit older you always will have some some hair loss So now we're in my kitchen and uh, I'm sorry this is not really aesthetically beautiful uh, but yeah it does the job. Here's my boiling hot water and oh no, not too deep in let's let's okay and what I'm gonna do is I well I dip the hair I dip the hair into the hot water and try to comb it through while doing it I don't want to do any curls or anything on this one. By the way, curls you can just set when you have the curlers in. <laughs> that means uh, on a peppermint rose, for example, I want to do curls, but I have to do that afterwards. So I'm doing the boil wash first and then the boil purr. This is just to like straighten it and uh, give the texture a little bit more shine. So um, this would not have been necessary with this one. So the dolls that have this kind of hair, this more puffy, uh, more thin, um, if you have like pre-arranged curls in there or like um, you know, crimp or something. It will immediately go away if you do a boil wash. But I want to give her straight hair right now and then I want to make curlers in and then do a boil perm afterwards. taking care of the bangs afterwards when I do like uh, the curlers in etc. She has straight hair and that's how I want it but I will also afterwards remove her head to um, put a little bit of more uh, hair in there. But I just want to give her some like big loose curls 
and I will use these uh, curlers that I use for my own hair so they are like human size but that will make uh, some big curls I think At first I'm wrapping the ends uh, with uh, toilet paper that uh, just makes it easier to um, yeah, to roll it around the um, hair roller so it like stays in place like otherwise it's sometimes pretty difficult and doesn't hold. With the bangs I want to try something different this time, I've never done that before uh, but it seems to be a technique that doll people <laughs> use uh, for doing uh, nice rounded uh, bangs. I have these straws that I also use you know, for my curls on ponies etc. But one of them I have cut open and let's see if uh, that works in any... Oh. If that works somehow. on top of the other so it holds hopefully <laughs> the like curl bangs so uh, she's ready for void perm now but I also want to give her some nice waves again Ooh. now I will just very shortly put the put uh, the hair with the curlers into the boiling hot water just like dip it in you know just like ta -da. that's it and uh, with her I also need to put in the bangs That's it. And now uh, I just have to leave them like, yeah, let them dry. That can take like a day or something because uh, they just need to dry with uh, the curders in there. I was able to uh, get the head off here, which I did off camera. This was really, really difficult 
and I was, oh my goodness, I, I think I, it's pretty easy to break it, so um, I'm happy that I managed, but uh, to be able to rehair it, I need to also get inside to get glue in there, so otherwise I could not put any hair in here. Um, but I think we, uh, I will start with <laughs> like doing a little try and error thing to uh, be able to put her head really back on. I still have the pieces here, these little bits, but I need to do something like a ball uh, joint or something. Uh, that's why I just took some, um, this is Warbler, which is a thermoplastic material that yeah, it's used for crafting. I, I use it for cosplay a lot. So let's just cut a little bit. I will use my heat gun then to heat it up. not professional at all <laughs> and it didn't work uh, the same way as it always does with my Lady Lovely Lux dolls because they, the Lady Lovely Lux dolls, they like their um, like neck is empty so I can put the warbler also in there so it has more structure, comes from inside and then, then the kind of ball joint um, is stuck to it. Here I just I, I needed to glue it and it came off and then it was too too wide and then it was not wide enough and also she has this ugly split here and that makes it always like a little bit fall down but yeah I 
I need to paint this a little bit here and then I think it's okay. At least she doesn't look like, uh, I don't know, she, she has no neckline, <laughs> no neck, so that's okay. Like a normal like doll collector would probably just, I don't know, get another body for it or whatever, but I want to keep this as it is because it's my childhood doll, so that's, that's the reason why I'm actually doing it. <laughs> and let's quickly <laughs> rehair uh, uh, the bangs here. I think this is a good match. I, I, I still have it, white chocolate nylon. I bought it from uh, the Doll Hair Emporium. That's a UK um, doll hair, uh, pony hair, whatever. You can use it for every kind of <laughs> um, uh, shop. Uh, this is nylon. This is obviously not nylon here, but I mean, it's it's okay. At first, I divide uh, the hair and uh, cut it the length I want because I start with some long strands of hair, not just with the um, shorter um, bangs part, but um, as she also has some longer blonde hair, actually, I want to like, you know, match it a little bit so that uh, some of the new hair also is in the long hair parts and then I can continue with this new hair also using for, um, you know, the, directly the bangs. Um, and that's what you're gonna see here. It's it's the long hair right now and uh, Yeah, there you can see I cut it even shorter So I have just like I don't know 15 centimeters or whatever the hair length is now and that um, divided into two so It's still of course long enough uh, I have to cut it afterwards into the correct length of the bangs, but uh, really, you can't really work with even shorter hair by rehairing. By the way, if you're wondering like how I like do that rehairing kind of thing, uh, I have a tutorial um, directly where I explained uh, step by step how I rehair a pony. It's actually not different to what I do with the doll because this is actually the first doll that I ever rehaired, you could say. I've just done it with ponies, but the technique is exactly the same. Um, I will link that video down below for you. And to secure the hair, uh, so otherwise you would comb it out right away, you have to glue it um, from the inside. I'm using a, um, you know, fabric glue, so um, it's kind of really rubbery when it dries. Um, and yeah, I use just a Q-tip and put the glue uh, inside there, like, you know, where I um, rehaired, so just in the front part. And of course, then it needs to dry so that I always let it dry, like, let's say half a day or something at least. Yeah, the last thing is that I definitely need to cut it into the correct uh, length because right now it is still like too long, even if I would like curl it. Uh, here I try, I don't know, I was really not sure if this is too short or too long, but I just went with it. That seemed to be the correct length. And yeah, I did it the same way as uh, what I did with the um, Peppermint Rose doll, the bangs. I want to have it real curly. So I used it again the double straw method, one straw cut and uh, on top of the other to hold it secure. And there I'm just boiling up some water. This time we don't need a lot, so it's absolutely enough. It's just like a small um, um, bowl there. And um, very easy, you will see, just dip her in there. Dip, 
That's it. Now I just sealed um, all of the like you know the cracks etc with uh, this gel which I use for my nails or not always but sometimes it's actually for nails so it's UV hardened uh, gel and now I'm just gonna try to paint like the the other colors here her skin tone let's let's try that I'm just using acrylic paints and I try to to match match it to her skin tone because the warbler obviously is lighter and uh, I have to cover up everything and um, afterwards you can also seal it with a see-through varnish I didn't even do that because uh, the um, acrylic is already good enough for me it's already a little bit shiny This is some gold nail polish that uh, is very, very shiny and I will just paint uh, her earrings because uh, the gold on her earrings has chipped off. Finally, the reveal. I started with Petra. Uh, taking all the rollers out, the curlers, and then I'm just going through it with my fingers, sculpt it a little bit, um, loosen it up, whatever you want. So it just creates this voluminous like curl in the ends of her hair. So I, I really enjoy that part because you can see, oh, there is a curl and you can sculpt it with your fingers still a little bit. Okay, now let's have a look how Peppermint Rose turned out. Oh yeah, really nice bangs. And I'm just doing the same, taking the curlers out. And it is a little bit too like curly for me, so I'm going through it by, with my hands, dividing the curls, and I'm very sorry that it's kind of out of frame right now. Uh, yeah, great. Great camera work. Uh, no. I mean, the curls are really beautiful. Uh, they maybe are a little bit too curly for my taste, so let's get in with a little bit of water, just just make my hands a little bit wet. Maybe if maybe that helps. Let's let's have a look. I think she turned out pretty nice. Now after going through um, the hair again with some wet fingers, that was like really enough to like loosen the curls a little bit so we have this nice flowy big wavy hair lovely super lovely now what I did with her off camera is actually I uh, like uh, she, I mean I bought her naked there, there were there were no clothes uh, going to the hula hair Barbie when I bought her so I just I gave her one of my old Barbie tops like I think this one belonged to a super like cheap uh, knockoff mermaid doll, I remember that. And this one I just crafted. I had a little bit of tinsel lying around and um, you know these flowers. And then I just gave her some, uh, yeah, some panties. <laughs> and this is just fastened with a um, with a little um, snap button in the back. So this is really um, not. So I, I tried to uh, film it, and it was just a whole mess. Uh, it didn't look like anything on camera, so I just stopped filming and crafted it um, without filming it. Just to have something for her to wear. Then I made this little braid, which she originally came with here at the side. 
and yeah let's um, reveal her bangs I hope they are dry because they are the last ones that I did but yeah I think her bangs are still a little bit too long uh, but I will go in with some, um, some hairspray probably let's see with some hairspray this is the best I can do because this is you know this is also new hair so this is fresh new nylon hair that I put in the bangs because her bangs were cut so uh, but I guess this is okay for now I probably have to redo them at one point when they fall down again so um, but for now I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it so yeah and that's all uh, that's left from her original outfit this uh, like um, bodysuit, jumpsuit underneath and this jacket um, no boots, anything's left and her, her riding cap also not because she was called the um, I think the equestrian Barbie or something so she was one of the riding, the horse riding Barbies in German uh, Reitspaß Barbie um, so eventually I want to try to complete uh, my old Barbie looks so like get some black boots for her or something um, so the Petra here uh, with the gorgeous wavy voluminous hair now here she's not wearing any of my childhood um, clothes but uh, these are the clothes uh, that really go to a Petra doll and I found these clothes together with my um, Maiden Golden Waves from Lady Lovely Locks at the flea market. <laughs> I took those uh, fashions with me um, because I knew they would go to Petra and I kind of knew that I once had Petra dolls so um, yeah that's why I gave her this look and then uh, just some normal shoes that I got uh, in the lot with uh, the uh, hula hair Barbie. So uh, I think I'm gonna show you uh, how all, like each doll uh, turned out in detail a little bit and let's let's see uh, in, in the end. So here we are. This is the end of the video. All the four, my four victims of you know restoration are sitting here and I'm really pleased how they turned out. Um, some of them were easier to handle, some of them were more difficult. Um, so let's just start with Peppermint Rose here. Uh, there was nothing really to fix other than the hair because you know I just glued on the the um, rose a little bit but other than that the dress etc uh, her head there was nothing broken or anything I didn't have to rehair anything or whatever so here she is some soft wavy hair or soft curls um, the bangs are nice and um, whoops. So the bangs are nice and um, you know curly again, and the rest is just some soft, wavy, big curls. And I mean, she was not really dirty or anything, so successful <laughs> with peppermint rose uh, hair wise actually also very successful with Petra uh, she um, as I said she has the other kind of uh, hair I think that's nylon so her hair was anyways really beautiful but then I decided to um, also give her some loose curls in the end and the head swap was successful so she now has her official uh, real head again and I don't mean 
head, but I mean her head. So, um, as I already uh, described before, I put her in a real Petra outfit. That's not one that was one of my childhood outfits, but I found it together with the um, main golden waves of Lady Lovely Locks. And uh, in my Barbie suitcase, there, as far as I know, there is not an official Petra outfit in anymore. So this is really good. Gave her just uh, one of the pairs of shoes that I picked up at the flea market. And there she is. Then my childhood uh, riding Barbie. I put her now in the official riding gown that she came with. And uh, yeah, well, her head swap. Um, yeah, she has now her official head again, but that was really difficult. Uh, you saw that because um, I think my niece has put like um, hot glue inside the neck, so there was no, there's no gap. It's filled up, so it was really difficult to sculpt something to be able to put it on again. You saw that, but I mean, she is able to turn her head um, and. That's okay. So her hair was in a kind of a good condition, anyways. This is not as beautiful, but it's not as noticeable when you just have her like this. Da -da -da. So. There's a button missing here <laughs> and she's missing the shoes and everything but this is uh, her official outfit. And last but not least the hula hair Barbie that I picked up at the flea market. Uh, as you saw I had to do quite a lot of things. I uh, rehaired her bangs and then turned out really beautiful. I had to put a lot of um, hairspray in here so that it holds because it is fresh new nylon hair so uh, yeah but the hair also turned out very nice again it's as I already said it's a little bit cut so it should actually go all the way like lower like longer than her knees but yeah all those different colors so I do not have anything that she was originally wearing, so I put her in this glittery top and um, crafted this like DIY uh, tinsel skirt here and a very like unprofessionally made uh, like trousers or panties underneath. Put those little uh, flowers on to just resemble a little bit the look of what she usually what she what she came with uh, so I'm on the hunt for the stuff that actually goes to her not really like online just like whenever I see uh, the grab box of Barbie stuff that I will have a look in it if I find something that she goes with because actually she would have a um, gold and uh, yeah, orange bikini so top and, and, and panty and of course another tinsel skirt and <laughs> so and some, some other flowery accessories but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this little doll restoration project. I actually filmed this over the course of, I don't know, two weeks or something, whenever like uh, I have, you know, I had to dry the hair and then I did not have time to film, etc. So it, it uh, occupied my, my time schedule quite a, for a while. So thank you for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed that. I usually do not um, uh, make a lot of doll content. So I'm more of a My Little Pony collector, uh, Polly Pocket, some dolls like Cherry Mary Muffin, but not a lot of Barbie. But as I'm kind of interested a little bit in Barbie right now, so there might also be some other Barbie stuff on the channel. Who, who knows, depending on what I find. So thank you for watching, see you real soon and may the toys be with you. Bye.